Hey guys, what's up? This is your friend and tutor Manas and it's gonna be yet another session in this lecture series on isometric views. And in today's tutorial, what we're gonna do is we'll try to develop the isometric view of the frustum of a cone, which is having a maximum height of 70 millimeters and the circle at the top is having a radii of 20, whereas the circle at the bottom, this one over here, okay, something which appears as a line in the front view, it's not a line exactly, but it's a circle, right? And this circle or the outer circle, you can say, from the perspective of top view is having a radius of 30 millimeters. So there you go, that's the front view and that's the top view. And for this, we need to make the isometric view. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is to enclose these two circles, concentric circles into squares, something of this sort. And let's say these four corners be represented by A, B, C, D. Same stuff for the inner circle also. This way, um, let's say this point is P, okay? P, Q, R, and S. Now. Let's draw a horizontal line over here. Let's select a point and let's say this point is point B. Okay. Oh, all right. So what I need to do is I need to make a line over here. All right. At an angle of 30 degrees. And this line, this is BC. This is BC. Same distance. This is going to be how much? This is going to be 60 millimeters. So from B, you need to travel a distance of 60 millimeters at an angle of 30 degrees. And that's going to give you point C. You need to repeat the same stuff. This AB is how much? It's equivalent to the diameter of the outer circle. How much is the diameter? It's 60. So the same stuff over here at an angle of again 30 degrees, that's going to be point A. Now in order to locate point D, it's going to be very simple. So you need to do this. What I've basically done is I've drawn a line parallel to this BC. So you need to keep your drafter aligned along BC. Bring it over here. That's it. Now do the same stuff, keep your drafter aligned along AB, tighten the screw, bring it over to C and draw a line. This intersection is gonna give you point D. Okay, so this ABCD was a perfect square and this over here ABCD is the isometric view of a square which in fact works out as a rhombus, right? Now this circle's isometric view will be here in the form of an ellipse. So how can that be achieved? It's gonna be very easy, watch this. So what have I done? I've chosen the smaller diagonal. This is the larger diagonal of the rhombus. This is the smaller diagonal. Or from both the ends of the smaller diagonal, what you need to do is you need to produce lines, okay? Which is going to meet the center of the opposite two sides. So for this corner D, AB and BC are the two opposite sides. And this is the center of AB and this over here is the center of BC. So that's exactly what we've done. Again, you need to do the same step from B. You need to produce two lines from B. Opposite sides center and from B again, opposite sides, center. There you go. Now what? Now it's gonna be very simple. Take this as the center, draw an arc, take this as the center, draw an arc, this as the center, draw an arc, and that's it. That's the isometric view of a circle. Rather, shall I say, uh, it's the bottom circle. Now, in the next step, what we're gonna do is, um, let me have the intersection this way. Okay, so that's the center in the isometric view. From this center, we need to travel by an amount of 70 millimeters in the upper direction, something of this sort. Okay, so we are at the top. Now what? Now listen to this very carefully, guys. Now, at the top, we have to draw this in the isometric view, in fact. So what you need to do is, this is having a radius of how much? This is how much? This is 20. So here also it's going to be 20. Towards the right also 20. Towards the left also 20. Watch this carefully. So that's 20, you have to move parallel with respect to AB, okay? That's 20, again, you have to move parallel with respect to AB, that's 20, again, you have to move parallel with respect to BC, and again, you have to move parallel to BC, that's 20 again. You need to enclose this, something of this sort, inside a rhombus. And again, you need to repeat all the same stuff which we have uh, applied over to this uh, bottom circle, same stuff. Okay, PQRS, and that's it. That's it. And let's start from here. There you go. There you go. We're almost done. And right now what we need to do is select the outermost point randomly, randomly. Let's say this over here is the outermost point. Okay. And this over here is the outermost point. So what you need to do is you need to join these two points tangentially, something of this sort. Exactly. Now guys, uh, we are watching this in the isometric view and in the isometric view, this portion, this back portion, it's not going to be visible. Let's remove this. Okay, but something which is um, which is there and which is not visible directly has to be given some respect, but not with the help of a solid line, rather drawn with the help of a hidden line, something like this. That's it. 
so guys that was all from my side for today if you've got any doubt or query do write them down in the comment section below i'll be very happy to answer them and if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of engineering drawing or engineering graphics then do share and like this video subscribe to this channel and also press the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you get a notification you get an update and do tell your friends about this channel so that they can also benefit anyways i'm gonna be back with more such videos on drawing and mechanics until then it's a wrap this is manas patnaik signing off take care have a great day keep drawing keep learning